Hey guys, so I just realized there is something that I left out that I think that I should do because I said that I would keep everybody up to date with what I was doing. I said that a part of this recovery was going to be me being really honest and sharing stuff with you guys. So here's what I, I didn't say. Um, I just decided to go full in on my YouTube channel, especially while I am effectively out of work again. But I also found this fantastic, beautiful art school. I'm going to give that a try, too. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. The stuff that I really love, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for. So, um, and I'm going to take you guys along with me along the way. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you guys crazy questions. And I'm so, so excited to see how you guys answer. Be good. Hi, everybody. Okay, so um, the room that's usually open to me is not available right now. So yes, you're in my bedroom. This is my bed. Don't worry, nothing strange will happen here. It's just a change of venue, and I hope that you guys can be comfortable with it. We have my dog here. Which I don't know if you guys remember my dogs. Jordan, yes? My black and white cookie, as always, is here. And me, Ju, my girl, my gray girl. She's all gray. She's asleep right now. So listen, I just wanted to um, say hello, and I'm so glad that you guys are here, and welcome to my channel, Beauty Awakened. And so um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Myers-Briggs. That was my dog just now. Wow. Wow. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the uh, Myers-Briggs personality type test, and I'm going to assume that at least a few of you are. Um, but anyways, I just thought it would be more interesting instead of doing only the book reviews, which I did just do. I just did a book review on Creating Sacred Space, which is a feng shui book, but it goes way beyond that. It's a beautiful book. You don't have to be one religion or another religion or no religion in order to love that book. I've, I've known plenty of Christians that love that book, too. It's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I reviewed this book, which is the opposite. This is like a beginner's pagan manual, the Book of Spells Vintage Edition. And I learned from my last video to stop looking at the books. So did you notice how I stopped looking at the book? I didn't do any of this. I stayed right there the whole time. So um, those were the last two books that I did. And I just filmed a short series of videos showing some of my artwork, which um, is pretty spiritual. Hopefully you guys will like that. If you're interested in actually seeing good quality pictures and videos of my artwork, uh, you can always just follow the link but um, that's actually not what this video is about at all. It's not about the book reviews. It's not about the aforementioned artwork. It's, uh, it's about what I'm going to do with this channel. I'm really, really excited. I'm going to go out and I'm going to ask people some very simple questions, but very deep questions. I'm going to ask them, A, what their Myers-Briggs type is, if they know what it is or if they don't. And if they don't know what it is, then in exchange for a cup of coffee that I'll offer them, they can take the test and read all about themselves. If they do, then I'll ask them what it is. And then I'm going to ask them a question, a, ser a short series of questions that you're told to stay away from. You're told not to ask people these questions. You're supposed to stay away from politics. You're supposed to stay away from religion. And you're supposed to, for the most part, kind of stay away a little bit from art as well. Anything that's really subjective and personal. Well, whether or not I was an INFJ, which is my Myers-Briggs type, or a uh, ISTJ, which I found out was my mom's type, I was finally able to find... I was finally able to find our pictures from when we did our type test together, and uh, it was so great. I'm so glad that she did that. That was all her idea. But um, whether I was the type that I am or the type that she was 
or any other type, it would be important to me to know what people truly think, what people truly believe. And believing is deeper than thinking. It's a unshakable confidence. And it's also a feeling on the inside. And I'm interested in that. I'm going to ask people, and I'm going to ask you guys, where do you believe we all come from? And I don't just mean, you know, um, the stork or sex. I mean as in creation, as in creation theory, as in, you know, the, the ancient uh, Norse and Celts uh, believed that it was this giant fight, literally, that giants were involved and that they were defeated by Odin and he used their bones to create I think it was the land mass and and some other bones were like their finger bones and those were the giant boulders and this and that and their hair was the grass and so on and so on and so on um in ancient Egyptian belief they believed that the goddess of the night was stretching her body across all of the world and that it was the night sky. Uh, I believe that it was her hair was the night sky, something like that. Um, there's beliefs for as long as people have been around and beliefs that predate from when people have been around about where we all come from. So that's a bookend question because the next question you guys probably thought was going to be the first question. And that question is, what do you believe happens after death, or what do you believe happens at the moment of death? Where do you, where or what or how do you believe we become or are? What What is your belief? No, really, I'm asking you right now. <laughs> what is your belief? Please tell me in the comment sen section down below. Tell us all. Tell us all if you know already what it is, your Myers-Briggs type. And then regardless of that type, tell us what your belief is. Where do we come from? Or what do we come from? And where do we go? Or what do we become? So creation or creation myth or uh, the Big Bang Theory, or and you can answer this question, what happens afterwards at that moment of change, that moment of death? What do, you, what do you believe? Not what is your church or your family or your friends or your books in school believe? What did they tell you? What do you, who you are, what do you truly feel? What do you truly believe? And if you have a belief and a feeling that are in a juxtaposition to one another, if you have a belief that is purely Big Bang meets Darwinian, but you have a feeling that it's something else that you can't quite explain, stumble through it. Tell us everything. I want to hear it. And I think the world wants to hear it. I think it's one of the really great things about being around right now. People want to hear everyone's ideas, their thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts. I really, really do. Um, so I think I'm just going to name this list of videos maybe No More BS. I don't know. I love using that because, it, it A, it works, and, B, it's, it's true. It's um, dispersing with the small talk. You know, today I met this really nice lady over the phone. Actually, I think we're in the same age group, so I don't know if I should be calling her lady or not, but I will. And, um, yeah, it turned out both of us had the same loss, meaning we lost the same parent, but we also lost other people as well. And that happened one right after the other. And it was incredible because that's not why I called. I called because I was having trouble with my uh, bank stuff. And... I didn't tell her what happened. 
I, I told her about other stuff that had nothing to do with my mom, nothing to do with my dog, nothing to do with my grandfather, nothing to do with any of that really, really personal stuff. And then she told me about her personal stuff and how we were so similar, how we were, uh, what's the right word? I don't know, vibing on the same whatever, we were on the same wavelength, how simpatico we were was really incredible. And it was really, really nice that someone chose to share that with me. And I'd like to share that with you guys. And part of that is hearing back from you. I'd love to give you guys a space to tell us about you. I want to hear all about it. I want to hear about you. And I think actually we all do. I think that's one of the great things about being on YouTube, that you get to hear from other people, uh, unadulterated questions, just you as you are. So actually, maybe that's what these videos should be called, you as you are, come as you are. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming. I hope to see you soon. I'll be going to a certain very artsy cafe, um, thinking once a week because <laughs> I need to make the money to go on these little jaunts. I'm just going to ask you guys out there in the world, what is your Myers-Briggs type and what is your belief on where we all came from or the, you know, whatever theory you subscribe to? And um, where or what do you believe we become after or at the time of death? So, let's get in it. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for coming. This is uh, Yuriko Yuri Awaken. And um, I love you guys, and I appreciate your honesty. Have a wonderful day. I think this is going to be really good. This is going to be exciting.